Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever surrendered to peer pressure? You know what I'm talking about. It's where other people want you to do something you're not really a big fan of doing, and yet you do it. And I know we all face that in high school and junior high and maybe college, but it doesn't stop just because you grow older. I mean, because every political party that you're around, every fraternal organization that you've been a part of, every church that you belong to, uh, really even your friend groups exert peer pressure. And, and most of the time, we cave at one point or another. Uh, it's pressure for us to conform. And can I just tell you that God doesn't want conformity. That uh, might be why there's like, you know, thousands of varieties of flowers and birds and animals of all sorts, why there's not just one topography, uh, because God loves variety. He doesn't want conformity. And what he wants to do is fundamentally transform your life. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. He says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, what is acceptable, and what is perfect. You see, God wants to transform your mind and your life. So how does God change us? How does he do that? Well, first of all, when you surrender to Jesus, everything changes. Uh, scripture says if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. And that moment that you confess Jesus, then God the Holy Spirit indwells you. He enters your life and he transforms you. All of your sins are forgiven, past, present, and future. Uh, you are sealed for heaven. The name of Jesus is written on your forehead. Spiritually, you can't see it. But you are a new creation. So that happens instantly. But what continues to happen is that God wants to renew your mind. Did you catch that? Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Now, how does that happen? Uh, this book is the clue. Look at that. Just drop my notes. Does it matter? Not at all. But this book is the clue, the Word of God, which is why relatable truth is one of our core values. You know, we believe that if you read and apply God's Word, God will change your life. That's renewing your mind. That's transformation in you. That's why we give Bibles away here at Calvary. That's why we preach sermons that we do. That's why we record Word of, for the Day for you so that we can encourage you with the Word of God each day. That's why we want you to join life groups. Hey, by the way, signups are starting next week, so you may want to check those out if you're not already in a life group. That's why we encourage people to read the Bible on a daily basis. I'm doing a plan, read through the Bible in a year, and I've got a group of people who are doing it with me, and it's encouraging. See, we want you to encounter God's Word because when you know the truth, the truth of God's Word, that truth will set you free because your mind has been transformed and you're no longer tempted to conform to the image of the world. You're, you're wanting to become more and more like Jesus. So my prayer for you is for complete and total transformation, the renewing of your mind. I hope that you pursue that and I pray that you have a blessed day.